What's up, my AK Swap Easy Beauties? And welcome back to another video with your girl Kayla. And today, y'all, we back with the mess. We back with the you feel me? Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about this Megan Thee Stallion issue she got going on with her label. <sighs> Y'all gonna see a lot of things get popped up in this video. I might not even be talking about what's popping up, but just know this is all coming from out of their mouths and their posts that they put up and the label and herself, you know. I don't I forgot the label name, 501, 105 or something like that. That's her label that she's under. So, y'all, Megan Thee Stallion um, album got released without her permission, and I don't, I don't, it got linked. Let's just say that it got linked. It got put out there. She didn't have nothing to do with it. She said she didn't, she don't know who, you know, like, it's only one person who can do this to her, which is her label. Um, she feel like they did it. Um, they going back and forth with each other, literally going back and forth. And a lot of people was getting on Megan Thee Stallion saying that the album is trash. And I really like some of the songs in the album. I really do. I like some of the songs in the album. And some of them, I'm just like, but the ones that I like is the ones that was coming from her heart, literally. Um, all the other stuff with, you know. I like the one when she was singing in it. I don't know which one is that. I'm gonna pop it up right here. I'm gonna pop all the songs that got linked, okay? I don't know which side they're gonna be on these side. Might appear right here in front of my face, I don't know, okay? But all I know is that the man basically was coming hard at her and they was going hard at each other. She was on Twitter. He was on Instagram posting. Then she did an Instagram post. You're going to see it here. And he did an Instagram post basically talking about um, she's a, 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 a hoe. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, y'all. It ain't even much that I can really say about the situation. Because I just feel like... <sighs> If a person is not making you no money, why not let them go from your label? And that's what she put in one of her statements that you will see here. She said, if I'm not making you no money, you say I'm not making you no money, why is you why you just won't drop me? And you know, I, I get that. Why you just won't drop her if she ain't making you no coin? I don't know who released her music. It had to be her label. Because they beefing. They've been beefing for a while. Megan did say he wanted to leave this label for I don't know how long. She wanted to leave this label. He basically said, baby, you haven't paid for no sessions or no shows since 2019. That's what he told her in this, you know, post right here. Basically, like, baby, you doing all this rah, 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 baby. You ain't paid for nothing. I paid for everything. That's what basically what he's saying. But what she's saying is like, bro, I can, you know, I've been doing my own. I've been paying for my own. What the bam? I can make more music and songs, I guess, you know? Um, she just told her hotties to run it up. You feel me? Um, I don't know where they stand. I don't know if she, I don't know if she had to do this album to get out of the label. But he basically saying like she ain't going nowhere until I say she can go. But I just found it wrong. She said her lawyer's been asking for stuff, you know. So they, you know. She said she's tired of this court thing. She's tired of the court thing, you feel me? She's tired of it. She's tired of the court thing. And I feel like Megan Thee Stallion, she's been through a lot. She lost a lot of her family. And she's just by herself. And I don't, like, that's, like, that's what really makes me feel so bad for her. Like, she by herself, she don't know who's genuine and she don't know who's not genuine. And not too long ago, her boyfriend, I guess, Kevin Hart and The Rock was doing an interview. And The Rock basically was saying how gorgeous and, you know, pretty or whatever Megan did Stallion is. And she is. Who, If you say this lady not pretty, you're lying. Stop the cap. 
Like for real, stop the cat. This lady is very beautiful. And that's what basically The Rock was saying. So her boyfriend, Megan Thee Stallion boyfriend, goes on to the Instagram and basically brung up this man, wife, and his kids. Whoa. Hold on, Jamal. Pull out the nine. I don't know what's going on with him, but he came for The Rock. And The Rock didn't even send for him. Didn't even sing when he came. <laughs> because The Rock will break that man in half. The Rock will break that man in half. Do you feel me? In half. He will break him in half, okay? So, he came back out. <laughs> oh my God! I can't take a joke. This was just a joke. I ain't nobody doing nothing. This ain't serious. It's just a joke. Y'all y'all too serious in the social media world. Then why would you come for this man? If it's a joke, why you just didn't say, you know what, bro, I'm just playing. My girl is beautiful. My girl is pretty. Thank you. So are your children and your wife. You have beautiful children. You have a beautiful wife. No. That man said what he said and left it at that. And then people started coming for him like, boy... Nobody check. What do you do? What do you do besides TikTok with Megan? What do you do? Okay, that's what basically people were saying. I don't know the homeboy to say nothing about him, but all I know I, I will say is he don't got no weapon. The rock will break him in half. <laughs> and I don't condone weapons. I, I don't condone fighting. But if he ever try to run up on the rock, the rock will break that little man in half. Just simple as that. Period. But back to the Megan and Stallion situation. But you know, after all that was going on, he came out here with that bull crap that was way unnecessary. He just making everything worse. Okay, so be back there, be a boyfriend. But Megan and Stallion, I really want her to get dropped from that label because it feel like she depressing that label. She's trying to make the best out of it. And the man basically like, baby girl, I don't care. You're going to do what I say. Nobody ever confessed on who dropped her um, music um, August 10th. Her music dropped. Or it was August 9th. I don't know. It was one of them. It dropped that night at 11 or uh, 10 or 11 or 12. One of them. And no, it was 11. And... She was basically like, well, they linked it, so go ahead and hop on to this. <laughs> go ahead, basically. I like the little video she got with every song. It's like a little clip, a little lady on every song that she got. It's very pretty. You got a chocolate, sexy lady with an afro. That is so cute. Doing different things. I like that. I like her album, the theme of it. She had merchandise, y'all. You know, to make this a big thing when she released it. Oh. Oh. He, they didn't mess it all up. Like, she had merchandise. So, when she released it, people can wear their merch. People can be, you know, doing what they do. But she making the best out of it. Because I think she made a TikTok not too long ago. I don't know what she made. But somebody said she made a TikTok not too long ago. Basically, you know, vibing to her music. I guess, you know, people say stuff, but don't be serious. It don't be for real. So, and to be a lie. So, yeah. But this is just what I'm coming up here to tell y'all, y'all. Go out there and support your girl, Megan. She said, run this one up. Run it up for her. She needs you to run it up for her. And I'm going to be putting some of the comments that was just so negative in this video. Um, One comment that I have to touch on, they was basically like saying, girl, you got the same flow. Switch up your flow. And I was just like, oh, don't say that. Megan D. Stallion flow is in this, like, in this box. But she's switching it up a little bit. You know, she's switching it up a little bit. Her, her music is her. She don't have to build a whole new persona. You know, she don't got to fake us. The, the music and the flow that she in, that's her lane. That's her. Why people got to be always trying to push people out their lane? Let her stay in her lane. You're tired. Let her stay in her lane, okay? One song called Scary. 
on her album. I didn't get that one. Didn't. But that's 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 neither here or there. And we here, okay? We here with it, okay? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be up on every video your girl upload. Period. Make sure you go tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell her mama to tell her daddy, sister, cousin, uncles, and nephews and nieces. God mamas and God daddies. Papas and papas are not. <laughs> that your girls is coming out with more bangers, y'all. This is gonna get up from here. We just gotta we going through some right ourselves right now, so we just trying to rearrange our life so we can get y'all good bomb content with us, please. Don't talk about my missing tooth. It fell out because I ate popcorn. <laughs> That's a story time. That's a story time. So I'm gonna say that. Um, but yeah, bye. I gotta do a thumbnail. Two thousand years later. I'm gonna have to choose one of them. Yo, Gigi. I'm gonna go today, cause I might not tomorrow.